Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from areas related to circles chapter. And this question has three sub questions. The first sub question is for one mark. The second sub question is for one mark. And the third sub question is for two marks. And we can see that it has an or question as well. So either you can attempt the A question or the B question. So let us begin with the first question now. In an annual day function of a school, the organizers wanted to give a cash prize along with a memento to their best students. Each memento is made as shown in the figure and its base ABCD is shown from the front side. The rate of silver plating is rupees 20 per centimeter square. Based on the above, answer the following questions. The first question is, what is the area of the quadrant ODCO? So let us try to understand the question first. So the school organizers wanted to present their students with a memento and the shape of the memento is shown over here. So here A, B, C, D, the shaded region as we can see, it is the base that is the standing point of this entire memento and the base A, B, C, D is silver plated as it is mentioned over here and the rate of that silver plating is rupees 20 per centimeter square that is they have given the rate according to the area as we can see it is mentioned in centimeter square that is the unit. Now here the first question is what is the area of the quadrant ODCO and here we have to pay attention that they have mentioned it as a quadrant. This is a quadrant because if we look at the central angle at point O in the figure they have given it as 90 degree which means this is just one fourth part of the entire circle which makes it as a quadrant that is one fourth of this entire circle. So we have to find out the area of this quadrant. And this quadrant ODCO is also a sector that is the minor sector of this entire circle. So let us write here area of the quadrant ODCO is equal to area of the sector ODCO. So quadrant is nothing but the sector area of the circle that is the minor sector. Now we have a formula for area of sector which is theta over 360 times pi r square where theta represents the central angle of the sector. Here the central angle of the sector is at point O, so this 90 degree becomes our theta. And R represents the radius of the circle. If we look at the circle, OC and OD are the radii of the circle. And here OC length is given as 7 cm. So here R is going to be 7 and theta is going to be 90 degree. So let us substitute the values. So here we have written in place of theta 90, that is the central angle divided by 360 degrees times pi we have taken it as 22 over 7 times the radius is 7 so we have taken it as 7 square. Now here 90 and 360 go in the table of 90 that is 91 times is 90 and 94 times is 360. So let us rewrite this. So here we have written 1 over 4 times 22 over 7 times 7 square is written as 7 times 7. Now here 7 from the numerator divide 7 from the denominator and here 4 and 22 can again be divided that is 2 2 times is 4 and 2 11 times is 22. So in the numerator we have 11 times 7 which is 77 and in the denominator we have 2. So we have 77 over 4 centimeter square or changing this fraction into a decimal we can write 38.5 centimeter square. So that is the area of this given quadrant ODCO. Now let us move on to the next sub question. Find the area of triangle AOB. So we have the triangle over here that is triangle AOB. And if we are considering this triangle, we can see that this is a right angle triangle since angle O is 90 degree. So let us redraw this triangle over here. So this is the same right angle triangle AOB we have drawn over here and angle O is 90 degree. Now let us see the length of OB. Since here I have marked it as 10 cm, let us see how did we get this. Now here this length OB is made up of OC and BC. So OC is 7 cm and BC was given as 3 cm in the figure. So 7 plus 3 is going to give us 10 cm. Similarly the length OA is made up of OD and AD and OD is again the radius of the circle which is 7 cm. So 7 plus 3 will again give us 10 cm. And here in this triangle, 
I have considered OA as the height and OB as the base. So you can also take OB as the height and OA as the base. You will get the same answer. After this, we have to write down the formula for area of triangle, which is area of the right angle triangle AOB is half times base times height. Since the base is 10 cm and the height is also 10 cm, we are going to write here half times 10 times 10. So here we are going to divide 2 and 10, that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 5 times is 10. So 5 times 10 will give us 50. So that is the area of the right angle triangle AOB, that is 50 cm square. Now let us move on to the third sub question. What is the total cost of silver plating? the shaded part A, B, C, D. So in this question, we have to find out how much is the cost of silver plating this base, that is A, B, C, D. So if we look at this figure carefully, the shaded region is the area of the right angle triangle minus the area of the sector. That is, if we cut out the sector from this right angle triangle, we will get this shaded region. So let us write here, area of the shaded region is the area of the right angle triangle A, O, B minus the area of the sector ODCO and the area of the right angle triangle we had got in the second part of this question which was 50 cm square and area of the sector ODCO we had got in part 1 of this question which was 38.5 cm square. So this will give us a value of 11.5 cm square. So this is the area of the shaded region. But here we need to find out what is the total cost of silver plating this shaded region. So for that they had given a hint in the main question. That was the rate of silver plating per centimeter square area was rupees 20. That is for 1 centimeter square area if you want to silver plate it, it is going to cost you 20 rupees. But here we have got 11.5 centimeter square. So let us say that for 11.5 centimeter square area, it is going to cost us y rupees. Now here we have to just do the cross multiplication to find out how much will it cost to silver plate this area. That is y multiplies with 1 cm square and 11.5 cm square multiplies with 20. So here we have y times 1 gives us y is equal to 11.5 times 20 will give us a value of 230 rupees. So this is the amount that it will cost to silver plate the base ABCD. Now let us move on to the OR question. What is the length of the arc CD? So here basically we need to find out what is the arc length of CD which belongs to the sector ODCO. So we have a formula for arc length which is arc length CD is given by the formula theta over 360 times 2 times pi times r. Where theta is again the central angle of the sector ODCO and we know that theta is going to be 90 degree as it is given in the figure. And R represents the radius of the circle, which is 7 cm. So here we have substituted the values, that is theta is 90 degrees divided by 360 times 2 times pi, we have taken it as 22 over 7 times the radius is 7 cm. Now here 7 1 times and 7 1 times, they both divide each other and 90 1 times is 90 and 90 4 times is 360. Now let us rewrite this. So here we had left 1 over 4 times 2 times 22. Now here 2 and 4 go in the table of 2. So 2 1 times is 2 and 2 2 times is 4. Now again 2 divides 22 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 11 times is 22. So here we got the length of the arc CD as 11 cm. So let us write here length of arc CD is 11 cm. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. And if you found this video useful, then you can click on these playlists where you'll find more examples of these kind. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.